Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today, we are taking a look at the new Blind Shell Classic 2. This is the second version of the Blind Shell Classic, a very popular accessible phone. And it is in just about every single way an upgrade over the previous model. So hang out, we will be right back and we'll take a look at it. So as I said, the Blind Shell Classic 2, it's an update from the previous model, the Blind Shell Classic. And the team over at Blind Shell truly listened to their customers and improved this phone in just about every single way possible. We have new hardware, it's still running the very popular Blind Shell user interface, but they've added in some new features and some new apps and still probably the most accessible phone on the market right now. All right, so in this video, we are gonna take a look at the brand new hardware, and we're gonna take a look at some of the highlights of the new software, or some of the new software features and apps. If you'd like to see what comes in the box for the new Blind Shell Classic 2, be sure to check out my unboxing video. Okay, let's take a look at the new hardware, and this is brand new hardware. And in fact, it was designed by some award-winning Czech designers. It's similar design to the previous model of the Blind Shell Classic, but it's a little bit thicker. That is to accommodate the larger battery and also to accommodate NFC that is now built into the phone. NFC, near field communication. We're gonna talk more about that and how you can use that a little bit later. Something else they've done with this new hardware is they've moved the volume buttons to the side of the phone, where is more traditional, most phones have volume on the side, so now the Blind Shell Classic 2 does as well. Then on your right side, they've added this programmable button. This is a new addition, so now you can quick launch a favorite app just by pressing this programmable button on the side. On the bottom, you have your USB Type-C charging port. On the top, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is great. A lot of phones are getting rid of their headphone jacks, but the Blind Shell Classic still has it. And you also have an LED flashlight on top of the phone. On the back, you still have that very popular SOS button. This is a programmable button. You can program emergency numbers in there or even just your neighbor's phone number or your kid's phone number. You also have an eight megapixel camera and a flash for that camera. Since the phone is a little bit larger than the previous model, that means it's a little bit heavier. Uh, the weight of the phone is 5.3 ounces or 151 grams. The size of the phone though, it's still pretty small and pocketable. Um, it's a little bit taller than a can of soda. Width wise, it's a little bit more narrow than a soda can. As far as colors, you still have the two colors, the black and the red. The buttons on both are black. So if you're looking for the best contrast, you're gonna wanna pick up the red. Uh, and then speaking of the buttons, the physical buttons on the device, the Blind Shell team also listened to their customers about that and improved the tactileness of those buttons. The little bump on the five button is much more pronounced and the control buttons at the top, right above the keypad, those all have much more pronounced raised elements on them. You even have some color contrast with the green answer call button and the red hang up button or end call button. All right, turning on the phone, the first thing you're gonna notice is the new home screen. We have a new home screen layout. The previous model of the Blind Shell Classic didn't even have a home screen. You basically just were right into the menu structure of the phone. But now we have a home screen with this super large clock and they positioned the clock in a way that they could make the clock as large as possible. You also get some information on the home screen, if you're connected to Wi-Fi or not, how much battery life you have, that sort of thing. If you press up or down on the two navigational buttons here in the middle, call 
of seven. That's how you get into your menu. And the first thing you're going to notice is the brand new speaker and the much louder speaker. That was a big request from the customers on the, uh, from the previous version of the Blind Show Classic, and the team definitely took that to heart and improved the speaker. It is Turn off the phone. ridiculously loud. Let me see. Volume 8. Volume 9. Volume 10. Volume 10. That's really loud. Volume 9. I'm Volume going to turn eight. it back down a little bit. Volume 7. So you have a much better speaker, but remember, keep in mind that this also has Bluetooth. So you can connect this to Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth enabled hearing aids. Along with Bluetooth, this also has Wi-Fi, it has GPS, it has that NFC technology built in that I mentioned earlier. So that's one of the reasons why I've always said that the Blind Show Classic and now the Blind Show Classic 2, it's really a smartphone disguised as a feature phone, or more accurately, a smartphone with physical buttons. So the operating system of the blind shell hasn't changed much from the previous version. The menu system, it's very intuitive, it's easy to figure out and to navigate. The UI is super fast and responsive. Contact application setting, man, turn off the phone. I mean, you can just seven. fly through this. So because a lot of this is the same, I'm not gonna go into it. I definitely recommend checking out my previous review of the original Blind Show Classic so you can learn what is involved with the menu, all the different apps and features that it has. I'm mainly just gonna focus on some of the really cool new additions, like the programmable button here on the side. So I have mine programmed to the flashlight. So when I click this button, flashlight, one of two, so now if I click OK, flashlight on. Flashlight comes on. It's a really nice bright flashlight. It's pointed forward like we talked about. You also have the clicking, the audio clicking, letting the person know that the flashlight is turned on. So we've got some really cool additions, brand new additions to the Blind Shell Classic 2. And one of them that I'm excited to announce is Internet Browser, one of eight. They've added an internet browser to the phone. Once again, something that a lot of people wanted to see in the previous model. It is now available in the Blind Shell Classic 2. And it's mainly available due in part to the Blind Shell Reader, which is their built-in screen reader. It allows the browser to be fully accessible. We have a whole section in the Blind Shell Classic 2 called Vision Aids, and they've added in some new additions to that. So let's check those out. Beepers, one of five. The first one is the blind shell beep. And that is what this guy is that I showed you at the beginning here. You get this when you purchase the phone. And what this is, is it's essentially a beeper or a locator. You can go in the phone and if I push a button here. No item, find beeper, one of three. A few moments later. I forgot it's on the black phone. <laughs> okay, so if I push the button here. Find beeper. One of three, keys, one of one. So I've named this beeper keys, and I'll explain why here in a second, but if I click on keys. Searching for the beeper, stop ringing. The beeper starts to play a melody. Keys, one of one. And I can stop it from the phone. So the beeper has a little hole on it here, and that's gonna be perfect for connecting it to a pair of keys which is why this one is called keys. Or you could even throw it into a purse. You could put it into some luggage. It's super thin, so you could even slide this into a wallet. And this allows you to find these items if you ever lose them or misplace them. Another new feature that they've added is the ability to use your Blind Shell Classic 2 as a magnifier. So if I click on magnifying glass, ready. it launches the camera, turns on the flashlight, and we can use this to read something here. If I click down, it zooms in. If I click up, it zooms down. Really nice addition, gonna be very helpful in lots of situations. Reading price tags while you're out shopping, reading prescription bottles, definitely something handy to have. Now, if you remember, the previous model of Blind Shell Classic had 
object tagging where it would use the camera to read QR codes and then you could assign a label to that QR code. Well now with the Blind Shell Classic 2, they've added in that NFC technology and now they have NFC object tagging. In the box here, you get some NFC tags. I actually have one stuck to this can of soda here. So if I click OK here. Three tags, one of three. The first option is to read a tag. I've already programmed this tag on the soda here, so I'm going to click OK. Approach the tag to the back of your phone. So I want to press the tag to write around the logo on the back of the phone. This is a can of Sprite. And it works that quickly. As soon as you touch that, as long as you touch in the right area, it reads it very, very quickly and plays your recorded message. The last thing I want to talk about is probably my favorite new addition to the Blind Shell Classic 2. I think maybe one of the most important additions, and that is the brand new app catalog. Now, what that is, is it's essentially an application store, although I guess everything's free, so it's not really a store. It's a place you can download and install brand new apps to the Blind Shell Classic 2. You can go in here and search for new apps, all types of new apps. And the great thing is that these apps are specifically chosen by the Blind Shell team to work really well on the phone. And we've got some great apps, some very popular apps, things like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger and Telegram, a lot of really cool communication apps. These are apps that I know a lot of people have been wanting to see on the Blind Shell Classic phone. So it's really cool to see it on the Blind Shell Classic 2. WhatsApp in particular, it's a great application, especially if you have family in other countries. You can communicate to them without using your mobile phone data and minutes and all of that and racking up a crazy bill. So it's really easy to go into the app catalog, search for new applications. You can even update your current applications through the app catalog. They have a wide variety of really great apps in there, not just communication, but productivity, games, books. And the best part is that the Blind Shell team is going to continue to add new apps all the time. So possibly every time you go back to the app catalog, there may be new apps there waiting for you. Hey guys, really quick, I need to interrupt because I realized that I recorded this entire video and I didn't even talk about the phone call quality of the new Blind Shell Classic 2. I talked all about what the phone could do, but I never talked about how well it does what a phone, the number one thing a phone should do. So I figured I probably should. Phone call quality was actually really good. Uh, I could hear the person I was talking to very well. In fact, I had to turn down the volume because it was a little loud, but it was clear, it wasn't muffled at all, and the person I was talking to said that I sounded fine as well. Said it was a pretty clear call, I didn't sound like I was in a tunnel or underwater or anything like that. So all in all, pretty good. Now, keep in mind that this is the result I'm getting in my area. It's gonna be impossible for me to test this everywhere, so just take that with a grain of salt. Here in my area, I got pretty good results. Okay, back to the rest of the video. Okay guys, so that was a relatively quick look at the new Blind Show Classic 2. As I said, that's not even everything that's on the phone. Um, one of the cool things too that I didn't talk about is offline voice control. So the voice calling, voice dictation, voice dialing, all of that, you can now do that offline as well, which is fantastic. Yet another thing that I know the community was asking for. So what are my final thoughts on the new Blind Show Classic 2? Well, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's a fantastic phone especially for anyone that doesn't want to deal with a smartphone. Maybe they just don't want to deal with the technical aspect of a smartphone, the complexity. Maybe they have some kind of mobility issues and they can't deal with a touch screen. This is going to be a great option for them because it has those physical buttons. And then the fact that it is fully accessible not only for low vision, but no vision as well. I really personally think it's the best thing on the market filling those categories. 
Now, what about pricing and availability? The price of the Blind Shell Classic 2 here in the US is $489. And it is available now, as of like three days ago. It launched just a couple days ago. It is available now. If you want to pick one up for yourself though, right now, as of the recording of this video, you can only get it through the Blind Shell website. So if you go to their website, www.blindshell.com, you can go into their eShop and purchase the phone. That's how it is right now, but it is going to be sold in the US through distributors probably pretty soon. So if you're more comfortable just buying from a local person here in the US, you will be able to do that. Now, please don't ask me <laughs> where you can buy the phone, okay? I get people to do that all the time. Is the phone available in the Philippines? I have no idea. What you can do is, once again, go back to the website blindshell.com and go to the little tab. There's a tab on the home page there that says where to buy. You click on that, a whole list of countries drops down and you find your country and it will have all the places that you can get it from in your country. So do that. Don't ask me. I don't know. I, I haven't got a clue if it's available in the Netherlands. You know. <laughs> But what you can do is let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What do you think of the new Blind Shell Classic 2? Is this gonna be a good phone for you or maybe someone you know? And while you're down there, remember that I have all my other social media links in the description box down below. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Come join us on TikTok. We're having a lot of fun. There's actually a really cool blind community on TikTok, so come join us. Just look for The Blind Life on TikTok. You'll find my page. I'm trying to post there in between making videos on YouTube. So if you want more content from The Blind Life, definitely check out TikTok. And if you would like to help support the channel, then you can become a member of the channel. That link is also down below in the description. Becoming a member, it helps to support the channel, but you also get some really cool things, some extra perks like a little icon next to your name, and the ability to join us for our monthly members-only live Zoom call. Information down below for that. And don't forget about all of the Blind Life merchandise. Low vision t-shirts, low vision sweatshirts, phone cases, not for the Blind Shell Classic. Although, maybe we could work out some kind of deal with Blind Shell. Get the Blind Life on the Blind Shell. You guys call me. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for me. Sam with the Blind Life, as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.